morning everyone, Elsa here. As we all know, Christmas is fast approaching. It's really only a few days away. And because we're in the middle of the holiday season, there are just so many different uh, events that we all have to attend. For example, um, between hanging out with friends and family and window shopping, I've been attending a lot of events, such as my local area's symphony orchestra concert, which was Christmas themed, and I've been attending a lot of dinners put on by local churches, as well as other events. So, undoubtedly, this time of the year is sometimes a struggle because every event I go to, I have to find what to wear. And I normally like to dress more formally during this time of year because so many of them, the events that I attend are maybe in a slightly more conservative place or typically the dress codes are expected to be a bit nicer. But this has been a struggle for me because up until recently I didn't really know my own sense of style. It's taken a lot of experimenting and a lot of research online and through books to find out what flatters me, what I like the most, and of course what is proper attire, or rather what is the proper attire for more specific holiday occasions. So without further ado, I'm going to share with you a get ready with me video today and keep in mind it's not going to be accurate, it's not really an accurate portrayal of how to dress for every single event because dress codes vary a lot during this time of year. Before I get started, I would also like to share with all of you this wonderful news that I have finally created my Instagram account for this YouTube channel and I'm so excited to share it with you all. The link is down below if you're interested. Basically, I'm going to use this as a platform to share creative ideas and also share things about my everyday life with all of you. So that's all I have to say for now. Please watch the video and let me know what you think down below in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Before prepping for a big event, I will always start off by moisturizing my face with a lotion, serum, or face mask, or some sort of combination of the three. Today I used a face mask. I'm not good at making it fit my face, so I'm sorry for looking like the scarecrow from Wizard of Oz. I will also sometimes apply a moisturizing toner, such as this one I bought from a 7-Eleven in Taiwan. After the toner, I dab just a tiny bit of sunscreen onto my face. For my makeup routine, the simpler, the better. After putting in my contacts and looking for my makeup supplies, I apply a layer of foundation um, as well as some light eyeshadow and blush. I also always use a host of staples such as BB cream, lip gloss or lipstick, and mascara. The hardest part is putting together an outfit. You don't want to underdress for a special occasion. Here I chose between two summer dresses. I picked the blue one as it is more elegant and easy to style with delicate jewelry. To complete a wintry look, I also wore a fur coat, slash vest, slash shawl, or whatever you want to call it. Here's my mostly completed outfit. For an especially cold night, I would add some dark colored stockings. Once I put all these things together, that's pretty much it. Here's a slightly dramatic before and after comparison. Finally, a lady can never leave her house without a purse to compliment her outfit. I'm sort of kidding, but it's never been a bad move to put in a bit more thought and bring along a handbag. Now I usually pick from three purses which I've deemed suitable for more formal occasions. Here's my red purse that I got from Francesca's. The gold chain is not too thick, it's very delicate, which I like. I also have a sequin purse, which I call my crowd pleaser, as I almost always get compliments on it. The third is my personal favorite. It's a cute clutch thingy that I got off of Amazon. It's perfect for dressing up an outfit. And I picked this one for this 
particular video because it suited the outfit best and it didn't clash with the colors. Hey guys, so that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, just as a quick reminder, please don't forget to follow my new Instagram account and please let me know what you think down below in the comments.